विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरुवे नम जय मां जय मां सबको जय मां आज का क्या प्रश्न है ओके इट्स अ पर्सन कॉल्ड विनय कुमार इट्स वेरी नाइस व्हाट ही इज रिटन इट्स इट वाज अ लॉन्ग ईमेल दैट ही सेंट मी एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट वाज एंड फाइनली ऐसा हुआ कि मां हैज डायरेक्टेड हिम टू केदार बाबा केदारनाथ बाबा हु इज इन ओंकारेश्वर इंदौर यू नो हिज आश्रम इज सो ऑब्वियसली ही इज अ मां फॉलोअर एंड मां डिवोटी एंड ही इज अ ग्रेट सन्यासी सो ही राइट्स बाबा इंस्ट्रक्ट बाबा मतलब केदारनाथ बाबा बाबा इंस्ट्रक्टेड मी टू डू नर्मदा परिक्रमा इन अक्टूबर एज अ प्रेपरेशन फॉर सन्यास विच आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ही इज अबाउट टू गेट सन्यास ओके सो ही इज राइटिंग and narmada parikrama is not a joke it takes about 3 3 and a half years to do narmada parikrama and it's very very tough but it is absolutely amazing if you can do it uh i will be following word by word instruction as kedarnath baba says what i want to know from you is in your journey towards being initiated in sanyas what all did you do to prepare for it and what do's and don'ts should i follow explicitly to maintain the guidelines set in mars lineage of sanyas order <laughs> yes so this is very interesting iski puri kahani jo hai na of how i got sanyas and how i came to that is all in my book in love with the divine mother which is available on amazon also so it was absolutely amazing ma ki bahut daya bahut daya mere pe you know so there was no nothing like a preparation see you must remember sanyas is not a diksha sanyas is an avastha a state of being in which you are when it pulls you towards saying that you know it, because we've done a lot of inquiry in life right when we are treading the path we do a lot of self inquiry who am i why am i here kya karne mein aayi hu is this where i belong you know there is a lot of self inquiry and finally it culminates into something which you say no no this is all not for me you know ye sab cheeze main karne nahi aayi hu so then what is it so sanyas is then officially you are given a diksha okay so that you come into the sanyas order but uh, to become a sanyasi it is not an order you know सो so, सन्यास ऑर्डर में आने से आपको घेरुआ वस्त्र मिल जाता है ओके बट टू बी अ सन्यासी इज लाइक सन्यास करना सन्यास ऑर्डर लेना और सन्यासी बनना दे आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स यू नो सन्यास हो जाना विच इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टूगेदर फॉर दैट यू हैव टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज परिश्रम जब तब ध्यान रीड बुक्स स्क्रिप्चर्स गीता भागवत एवरी थिंग यू नो डू ऑल दैट डू योर जब ध्यान रेग्युलरली and you know keep that in mind that i'm here for this not for anything else you know so mere pe bahut daya hui thi vinay um i wasn't ready for sanyas at all i mean i didn't even not even ready i didn't even think about it you know uh, aisa dimag mein kabhi aaya hi nahi tha ki main sanyasi ho jaau one day it happened it is already in the book but i'm just going to tell you in a nutshell uh one day it happened many years ago before i got my sanyas i got my sanyas in 2012 so this was much before that um swami bhaskaranand ji maharaj he was like unbelievable saint it's very difficult to get saints like this you know and he was completely an instrument in the hands of ma to wo bombay aaye the and he was staying in one of uh, ma's devotees house okay and when he comes there's a lot of crowd that goes there for his darshan you know so i thought chalo main ekdam jaldi uthke chali jati hu i don't want to face the crowd you know then there's no time to sit with him or talk to him or nothing you know so i decided to go very early which i reached very very early in the morning and what happened is he was sitting having breakfast on the floor and the hostess ghar ki jo hostess thi He, she was in the kitchen cooking some breakfast for him and i sat with him and he was having a papaya 
So I sat with him and we were talking. I was in white those days. I was a brahmachari. So he looked at me and he said, "Ye baat acha hua jo tumne ye sab dharan kar liya hai and all that." So it was just a general talk going on, and he was having this papaya and he put the papaya in my mouth, you know, and I was very surprised because he's never done that before. So he ate papaya and I said, "I don't know what happened to Swami Ji today." And by, while eating that papaya, he mumbled, "Ki tum sanyas le lo." there was pin drop silence and i said what because i thought i heard wrong ki ye kaise ho sakta hai what did he say you know aur swami ji ke muh se jo nikle wo maa hi bol rahi hai aisa hai because he is a complete was a complete instrument in the hands of maa so i said kya swami ji so again he repeated that sanyas le lo he said inner sanyas le lo to i kept quiet you know i didn't know what to say and before i could say something else or he could say something to me the hostess walked in with the breakfast and the conversation got cut off over there so i came home and i pondered over it but then i forgot about it and some years passed by you know i said pata nahi i don't know what he said so one day again there was there's a friend of mine who was an instrument you know to trigger off this thing in me Uh, she had just become a nastik brahmachari and when you become a nastik brahma if that is eternal brahmachari aaj jeevan mein brahmachari so she was in gherua once you get nastik brahmachari you are in gherua so she was in gherua and she was so excited about it ke usko gherua mil gaya tha naam badal gaya tha so she was discussing all this on the phone with me you know and that gherua 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 went on hammering on my head and i said gherua i wasn't listening to any other conversation except that word gherua was you know hammering and then after the her conversation got over i said do you know that you know this had happened to me many years ago a couple of years ago she said are you mad you must talk to someone you know you're ready for sanyas i said nah, i don't know about that you know she said of course of course talk to someone talk to some i said theek hai so that time ashok baba was there swami nirvanan ji was there and so i spoke to both of them and i spoke to no i spoke to swami nirgunanand ji and ashok baba i did not speak to swami nirvanan ji at that time and i was asked by swami nirgunanand ji to talk to him and he said he is the king you know we have in our ashram again very close to ma you know instrument in ma's hands so i said okay he was in pune ashram and there i called up and he said you uh, i told him i'm coming tomorrow to meet you because this is what has happened to me and i went the next day again very early i think by 9 o'clock i was in pune it takes about 3 4 hours to reach pune from bombay so i reached and i told him the entire thing he said what do i have to do now ma has already done everything for you and gone through paskaranand ji so now i just need to give you the uniform <laughs> you know the gherua vastra and that's it and do the rituals and tell you what to do that's about it there's nothing more for me to do you have confused me so much you know so that's how the whole thing happened and then i went for my ritual and you know etc etc everything is written in the book in detail you know so it was so easy for me i didn't have to do any exercise or i didn't have to go through you know <coughs> different things i was not asked to do like you've been asked to do the narmada parikrama oh my god it is very very difficult you know 3 three, 3 three and a half years of walking in the jungles and you know all kinds of things you'll be facing because i do know of some people who have done the parikrama and they've told me how tough it is you know but you get a lot of help on the way you see all these uh, adivasi kind of people are living all over the place they offer you food also they'll help you out with different things sometimes you'll come to different patches of the jungle where there won't be any hut or nothing no you know inhabitant over there so at that point of time there are animals and everything around you might have to sometimes sleep under the tree and you know kinds of all kinds of rain and storm and you know you have to face everything it's very tough but it is absolutely amazing you know if you can achieve that nothing like it and since kedar baba has told you you have to do it because he becomes your acharya guru so you have to follow what he tells you to do and after sanyas what is it that we need to do we need to uh, uplift ourselves of course like i said this is a sanyas order we are not sanyasis yet okay so to come to that point of becoming a sanyasi it takes a lot you know because it's an exercise we are going through right now 
जो लोगों को होता है जैसे भाई जी को हुआ था इन माज आश्रम इट वॉज एन इमीजिएट सन्यास यू नो इट टॉर ऑफ इज क्लोज इन सेज आई एम फ्री आई डोंट वॉन्ट बी हियर एनी मोर दैट सन्यास इज द रियल सन्यास यू नो वी आर इन द सन्यास ऑर्डर ट्राइंग टू अचीव थिंग्स एंड कम टू आर सेल्स यू नो सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वंस यू गेट योर सन्यास यू हैव टू बी इन्वॉल्व इन योर जब तब ध्यान विच आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन हेल्प मैन काइंड ऑल्सो people might have different queries questions like you have a question which you are asking me today my job my duty is to answer whoever has a problem or whatever so that becomes your duty because you are living for others you know not for yourself as such so that's that and i hope this has satisfied your query and do let me know in the comment section whether it was okay for you jai ma mm-hmm.